Okay, so to answer this question, we need to start by drawing a diagram. So here's our first medium here with our semicircular pulse. Let's give it some radius r traveling in this direction. Let's call this one medium one. And it's got some linear density of one gram per meter. And then that's connected to some second medium here with a higher linear density, mu two is equal to four grams per meter. And we'll call this one medium two. Now, there's lots of things that we need to consider. Let's start by considering the velocities. So when the wave is reflected back, it'll travel with the same velocity because velocity is determined by the medium. It's T over the mass per unit length. And we can assume that these two strings have the same tension because they're connected to each other. So it'd be very hard to set them up with different tensions. Okay, so velocity one, let's call that velocity one, that's the velocity medium one, is equal to the square root of t. Okay, let's just ignore units here because we'll, we'll be worrying about proportionality. So let's put it over the square root of one. And so that'll give us the velocity in medium one. The velocity in medium two will be the square root of t over the square root of four, which is root t on two. And so you can see that is going to be equal to a half v1 because root t is equal to v1. So v2 is equal to a half v1. So it's going at half the speed in medium 2. And we know that v is equal to f lambda. If the velocities change, then the wavelengths must change because the frequency is independent of the medium. And so this tells us that the wavelength in the second medium is equal to a half the wavelength in the first medium. And in this case, that's really equivalent to this pulse length. So let's try and sketch out now what this transmitted pulse is going to be like. It's got about half the wavelength of this one here, and there's no phase change for transmitted pulses. So it's something like this with this being about half R here and it's going in that direction. Now with the reflected pulse it is going to have a lower amplitude but it will, will keep the same wavelength and in this case, it's reflected from a more dense end. So that's, in that case, it's reflected back underneath like this. It does undergo a phase change. So it doesn't look quite so semicircular now because it's a bit flattened out. And it's traveling back here with velocity one. This has got velocity two equal to a half velocity one. And so you can see it's, this one's got radius r there. So it's, well, maybe that should be dotted. So this is what our reflected pulse is going to look like and this is what our transmitted pulse is going to look like.